Oh, oh, Fall of Jack O' Lantern, I think. And tell me about that song. It's it's about Jack O' Lantern, uh, who's the uh, pumpkin king, and he's processing through the air as he should. And what do you like about Fall of Jack O' Lantern? Oh my gosh, I think it's um, it made it just made me weep. There's uh, it's art in America, and the art in America is a tough tough fall. Uh, nobody likes you here. I mean, nobody likes <laughs> artists. Not you. I yes, mean, just yeah, art yeah. you, the artist. Yeah. Shines the dark, true Jack will still embark between worlds of spirit and of men. All Jack could do was grin. The robin and the green jay call and shine the light within that none could see. See the valley where the raven fall. Long before the Halloween. The robin and the green jay call, King Jack and his true queen were out to time, time the valley where the raven fall. His tears fell down like wax, the robin and the green jay call, with all his bold attacks were not to be, be the valley where the raven fall. Castles are sacked in war, chieftains are scattered far. Truth is our fixed star. Since no one sold or bought him, the robin and the green jay call the port Calis of autumn would not arise. Rise the valley where the raven falls. 
His face all caving in The robin and the green jay call from waiting to begin So let's begin, begin the valley where the raven fall Jack-o'-lantern in defeat In every trick or treat His light that never will permit again Though a faith outshines the dark True Jack will still embark Between the worlds of spirit and of men Built at the corner of Hollywood and Western in 1928, this Art Deco Los Angeles landmark, the Meyer Building, was by the early 1980s a crash pad for homeless punks and derelicts. Only one business remained, the studio where I recorded my first album and which inspired this song at Hollywood and Western. <laughs> Hollywood and Western with the moonlight on his face With his cape and boots of buckskin and no hair out of place With guitar and and he opens up the elevator door And he rides up to the studio to go for it once more And now his songs fall out like cards upon a coffee table And it begins to rain outside like tears upon a fable With a song about his true love that somehow don't ring true and another where his mother seems to tell him what to do with the world about to snap just like some rusty guitar string and here's the engineer who knows his client cannot sing but he serenades the microphone like some exotic fish and the tape reel spends his tape quick as a small boy spends a wish. He has wishes by the bucket full and they're leaking everywhere. And the carpet in the studio starts to smell of his despair. Now the job's completed 3 a.m. and something's found him funny. And the engineer tries to return some of his hard earned money. But like a prince, he won't accept and he bravely pays it all. And gallantly wrapped in his cape, he walks on down the hall. So high upon the fourteenth floor, so deep within the womb, by accident he walks into a dark and empty room. And he stumbles in the darkness, so high above the street, and he almost has an accident when something grabs his feet. Then he discerns some human form crouched upon the floor, some derelict or oh, madman between him and the door. But then this seeming corpse arises, and it looks just like his dad, and then it seems to be himself, so maybe he's gone mad. But then the figure disappears, there was no one there at all. Just a ragged curtain hanging from a nail upon the wall. So he rushes to the window and he sees the street below and all the grinning people and the cops that drive by slow and his feet get loose and wobbly and sweat forms on his crown with all the spinning buildings and the heavens pouring down. And he sees his body falling with a horrifying crash. To save himself, he wonders, should he grow back his moustache? 
Now all of us have seen him leaning from his crumbling tower, just like some kindly clock face, chiming every hour, with people looking up at him to see what time it is. Just ordinary people and people in showbiz. So this is uh, a great honor for me to be part of this program. Um, when I was a kid, like so many people, Bert was the guy I wanted to be. I wasn't quite conscious of that, but that was the truth of it all. Uh, and so I've gone through a long career of rock and roll and other stuff. But when I arrange songs now, Bert is always there as sort of an advisor to me. You know, I, I'll, I'll ask his imaginary self in my mind, what... How would you approach this bird? Um, and so that is the legacy that he has left me and uh, I'm very grateful to it and I'm very grateful to the foundation too. Thank you.